Tell us about the situation about this woman that was uh, critically stopped at Jamaica Van Wick Station earlier tonight and your thoughts on what happened. Um, so all we know right now is the woman was in her 20s. Uh, sh she was in the Jamaica Van Wick subway station when she was stabbed multiple times uh, by an individual who was actually uh, subdued by people uh, on the street and was held on for police. 
um, NYPD came, District 20 came, and that person was in custody, according to what we've been told. Um, and according to what we've been told, uh, the victim and the suspect did not know each other. But subway crime has been a huge issue right now. Uh, we're seeing a lot of crime overnight. There was a big robbery the night before. Um, Jamaica Van Vick, that subway station has had, the subway station, so Jamaica Van Vick subway station has had a lot of problems. Uh, there's been homeless encampments over there. There's been people using drugs, uh, living there. Um, it's a very dangerous station, and we've been pleading with the mayor and the elected officials to clean up the homeless encampments there. We don't know if this individual was an emotionally disturbed person, but those details still haven't come out yet. All right, the fact that it happened like right on the Eagle Train, where it is a major subway stop, uh, how has this concerned you as a passenger's advocacy group that uh, passengers are going through crimes like this, horrendous crimes like this? Uh, it's horrible. Any time a crime like this happens to anyone, it's devastating. And in fact, it also it was a young female too in her twenties. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Any, uh, especially this young female in her twenties. Uh, it's a horrific crime. Uh, we hope this criminal is prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. And um, you know that station has had stabbings there before. Uh, so it's not the first time that this has happened at Jamaica Van Wyck. Um, the mayor keeps saying the subways are safe. The subways are not safe. We urge uh, subway riders to ride the subways at their own risk right now. Be alert, pay attention to your surroundings, um, and do not carry any valuables with you. All right. And um, what is your suggestions for young females who are strap hangers uh, in the transit system? Uh, look out. When you're riding the trains, be in the conductor's car. Um, sit with other people. And when you're leaving the train and you're going up on a platform or you're leaving through the stairwell, look behind you to see if anyone's coming up look at your surroundings if you see someone who's emotionally disturbed or you see someone acting out you want to use caution and take steps and preventative measures right and what are you going to be doing as an advocacy group uh starting tomorrow or this week in regards to this uh, tragic event uh so to monday is the so tomorrow is the committee meetings at new york city transit we will be there and i will be bringing this up uh, at the New York City Transit Committee and to the full MT board. Uh, we've been complaining about that station for a long time. But again, NYPD can only do so much. We need the elected officials to provide social workers to help these individuals. Now, we don't know if this stabbing was because of an emotionally disturbed person, but the, that environment in the Jamaica Van Vick subway station is very dangerous. Um, it's, you just feel a sense of fear when you walk through that station and you see individuals shooting up needles, they're living there, they're urinating there. Um, it's not safe for the transit workers. We've even had transit workers who have been assaulted at that station. So it's not safe. Did you expect something like this to happen with the type of situation you described? Uh, was this like, you know, you, did you have any inkling of something like this happening, especially in the summer? I had a feeling something like this would happen because you have to understand right now, New York City subway stations overnight are not being staffed properly. Uh, some districts don't have enough transit police manpower. And this has been an ongoing issue with Mayor Eric Adams and Governor Kathy Hogel. We need more National Guard. We need them strategically placed in the right places overnight. Same thing with the NYPD. Some stations have seven police officers, while other stations don't have police. So the police need to be paying attention, not playing with their phones, monitoring the station and surroundings to make sure there's no individuals there lurking to either rob someone or stab someone. Okay, you have any concluding thoughts on the situation that took place earlier tonight? And could you give us a rundown? Uh, sure. So... We know that uh, a female in her 20s was stabbed multiple times at the Jamaica Van Vick station. According to reports, multiple individuals held her down until police uh, from the precinct came, the 103rd precinct. And the suspect was taken by NYPD Transit District 20, where the investigation is ongoing. Uh, my name is Charlton D'Souza. The spelling of my name is C as in cat, H is in house, A is in apple, R is in rain. L is in light, T is in tag, O is in orange, N is in evil, and then it's D'Souza. D is in dog, S is in school, O is in orange, U is in union, Z is in zebra, A is in apple, and I'm the president of Passengers United. We're a 501c3 advocacy group. All right, thank you very much, Charlton. Sure. Of Passengers United. Sure. Avoid the side of the escalator.
Stroller, push cart, and full cart are not permitted on the escalator. <laughs> 